10 Weird Foods Eaten Around the World All around the world, various cultures all have delicacies that other cultures and countries would consider weird. That's why, as a traveler, it's advised you keep an open mind about food when visiting a foreign land. What some might consider being outlandishly strange might be considered delicious to others. In today's video, we're going to be going over 10 different weird and exotic foods that are eaten around the world. This list is in no particular order, and hey, if you've happened to try anything on this list, be sure to let us know how you felt about it in the comments section down below. Hormigas Colonus, Colombia Alright, first up, let's take a look at the delicacy in Colombia called the Hormigas Colonus. When you translate that to English, it literally translates to big butt ants, which is what they're eating. These little treats can mostly be found in the Santander region of Colombia. These ants are actually pregnant and usually hand-picked during the spring, which is their mating season. The ants end up being roasted and lightly seasoned with salt. In Colombia, they're treated as a small, salty snack that has a thick crunch to them. They can typically be found in big stores, small shops, and even being sold by street vendors. Ballot Egg, Philippines now, if you've ever found yourself visiting or living in the Philippines and you see someone selling warm eggs out of a basket on the side of the road, be careful before you grab one, especially if you think it's just a hard-boiled egg. What you might be getting is what they call a ballot egg, which is a popular food or snack in the Philippines. Ballot is an egg containing a duck embryo that's a few weeks old. People that eat ballot generally make a small hole in the top of the shell to sip the juice and broth out of it, which is said to taste like chicken soup. After the broth is gone, you then break open the rest of the egg and bite into the embryo, which includes soft bone and small feathers. Ballot isn't for everyone, but those who enjoy it seem to love it. Basashi, Japan one of the biggest types of cuisine that Japan is known for is sushi, which as you most definitely know is mainly raw fish. While another very popular raw meat that is served over there is known as basashi. Basashi is nothing other than raw horse meat, and it's popular with a lot of people in Japan, as well as a lot of travelers who visit and have the courage to try it. Basashi is normally served in very thin slices with some sort of ginger or oil to go along with it. Many who have tried it actually compare it to sashimi, which is a type of sushi that is just raw slices of fish. And the reason they compare the two is because of how tender basashi is. There's almost no chewing involved. Bird's Nest Soup, China Bird's nest soup is a popular dish in China that has weirdly enough been referred to as the caviar of the East. Now, the name might make it sound like the soup is made up of twigs and branches like a bird's nest, but that's not entirely true. While it's made out of a bird's nest, this particular bird, the swiftlet, makes nests primarily out of its own saliva. This saliva gives the nest and the soup that they make out of it the almost gelatinous texture to it. Due to the fact that it takes so much time for the nests to be built during the breeding season, bird's nest soup is actually one of the more expensive animal products that are consumed by us humans. A bowl of bird's nest soup can cost anywhere from 25 to 100 US dollars. Rocky Mountain Oysters, USA Don't be fooled by the name of this next dish. Rocky Mountain Oysters are not oysters at all, and if you go in thinking that they are, you will surely be disappointed. This food, made big by cowboys in the United States, has become a huge hit at cookouts in the southern U.S. and is often served at rodeo events. What you might not realize, and what the name certainly tries to cover up, is that Rocky Mountain oysters are actually bull's testicles that have been deep fried. I mean, as you might have guessed, there aren't any oysters in the Rocky Mountains. The reason they call them oysters is simply because of how slimy they are before being battered and deep fried. Sanakshi, Korea The next one gives a whole new meaning to raw fish. In Korea, they have a well-known delicacy that they call sanakshi, but most people would know it as a live octopus. Now, when you are served sanakshi, it's not quite alive as the name might imply. It's usually served up in pieces, chopped up with some sort of seasoning depending on where and how you get it prepared. But the tentacles that you get are very much moving. With each bite, the tentacle will begin to work its way up the chopstick, and sometimes when you take a big bite, the tentacle can suck itself to your cheek or the inside of your mouth. 
Those who can stomach the wiggling food say the meat is chewy and crunchy, but at the end of the day, it tastes like extremely fresh seafood. Coconut Worms, Vietnam Over in Vietnam, a traveler is able to find what seems like countless odd cultural delicacies, whether it be on the streets or in stores. There seems to be no end of the number of strange treats you can find. One of the most popular street snacks in Vietnam is the coconut worm. These worms are actually larvae of a species of beetle, but when you look at them, they just look like ginormous maggots. These maggots are packaged and placed on the shelves right alongside other meats. These worms are eaten and prepared in countless ways, whether they be by themselves or incorporated into meals. In southern Vietnam, these coconut worms are also said to enhance male sexual abilities, though that's likely just for marketing value. Oxhead, Oman the next one would freak me out. I don't like it when my food stares at me. But in Oman, this doesn't seem to bother some people with one of the more popular delicacies being ox head. The ox head is exactly what it sounds like. It's the head of an ox that is usually slow cooked, traditionally done in a communal fire pit, similar to the way that people will do a giant pig roast in some places. In Oman, they use the ox. The ox is usually cooked over the course of multiple days in a fire pit that's meant for everyone, and when it's done, everyone gets some. Most people like it so much they'll have plate after plate until it's all gone. Morcilla Blood Sausage, Spain Next up, let's head over to Spain for some Morcilla Blood Sausage. That's right, blood sausage. And it's almost exactly what it sounds like, and there are a bunch of different variations of it. Morcilla blood sausage is a local speciality in Spain and is typically a sausage made from cooked pork blood. The pork blood is mixed in with onions, rice, and other ingredients of that nature and then dried out. On the surface, you would think it's just a normal sausage, but when you bite into it, you'll immediately notice a soft and almost creamy texture. And as for the flavor, it's got a mild, almost sweet taste to it that pairs well with almost anything, but they're typically served with salad. Giant Ant Eggs and Raspberry, Luang Prabang And what better way to finish off this list than with dessert? Are you a fan of sorbet? How about insects? If both are on your palate, then you might want to check out Southeast Asia in an area known as Luang Prabang. There's a popular hotel over there that has a relatively upscale restaurant inside of it with a very talented Leo chef. The chef has become known in that region for whipping up a dessert that not only includes fruit, but also insect eggs. That's right, if you've ever had the hankering for giant ant eggs and raspberry in the form of sorbet, this is the place for you. According to fans of this dessert, the ant eggs don't really taste of anything. They're more there to add texture to the dish, and when it comes to the giant ant eggs, they apparently pop in your mouth, which then releases the liquid interior which has been described as creamy. People say that the crunchy and creaminess of the eggs combined with how sour or tart the raspberries are is an experience to say the least. As you can see, no matter where you go, you'll find some strange food that you might think is absolutely out of this world, but to them it's just another meal. So what do you guys think? Would you try anything from this list? If so, be sure to let us know which one in the comments section down below. And if you like this video, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe in order to stay up to date with our latest uploads. Click the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest videos.